because we're on six music, let's say, let's think of six things. Six. Six. Six things six. that you'd like to do with your show. What would those six things be? This is well, like a manifesto. Cause, well, yeah. Because it's on, on Sunday afternoon, I think yeah. that's an interesting kind of time. Yeah. It always, I used, used to find that very depressing time. Yes, indeed. When I was, I was a kid, because it was like, oh, Credo. the weekend's finished. If it rained on a Sunday, you'd be stuck in watching Credo <laughs> yeah, and then the, the, the Antiques was, Roadshow. It was the most depressing day of the week. Yeah, and, and you kind of, the, the, this week's ground to a halt, but the new one hasn't started yet, yeah. and it's kind of... And Sundays yeah. used to be really, really dull. Everything used yeah. to be shut on the Sunday. So I'm just going to make it even duller. I'm going to bring that back. <laughs> yeah. Because what they've been doing is they've been seriously undermining it by letting shops open on Sundays yeah. and all this kind of Pubs thing. And, so I'm going to put the boredom back into Sunday. That's yeah. my manifesto. It's a, in, oh, that's a, that's yeah, I think So I think there will be, number two, I think there will be some... Um, Talking on it, obviously I'll be talking, sure. jabbering away. <laughs> but I would like to get guests on and just talk about stuff. Who, if there was anyone that would you like to see on your show, who would you like to interview? Well, and what I would just, you talk to them about? Yeah, well, I think one person that sprung to mind, but I probably won't be able to get him. But say, for instance, you know, David Byrne wrote this book about yeah. uh, cycling recently. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. Cause it, and uh, I'd just like to. It'd be nice to get David Byrne on, but just talk about riding a bike. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Feels How many gears has he got? Exactly. What sort of tyres? Does he go for them slick ones or does he go for the rugged, bobbly ones that help you get over the kind of cross-country terrain? Yeah, has he got of. one of those seats filled with the gel to kind of stop him getting saddle sore? I should hope so. The thought of David Byrne kind of having kind of chafing in that area is not yeah, something we want yeah. to consider, is it really? Well, yeah. Well, the thought of David Byrne with some cycling shorts on. <laughs> okay. So oh. we're going to let people... <laughs> yeah, no, cycling shorts. Let's get rid of those. Um, so we're going to have people... We're going to get people to slow down. We're going to hear a lot of talk from you. We're going to hopefully hear from some guests. That's at least three things yeah. you're going to do with and, the show. And, I, and I'm determined that it won't... I mean, I've got a lot of records. Sure. Over the course of my life, bought lots of records. And so it gives me an opportunity to inflict them on other people. But <laughs> I'm also quite determined to play new stuff as well. Yeah. That's going to be quite important to me. Uh, so it's not just all obscure rubbish that I've dug out of the cellar. So right, we've, we've got four things, right? They're re they were really insistent that I make you go for six. We've got to make it go for the six. Exactly. Well, all right, so I was thinking of having a feature called Are They Any Good? <laughs> OK, right. Uh, which is like a thing where you pick a group that yeah. I don't get. Yeah. You know, there's sometimes there's groups that you just don't get and you sure. think, God, I know that group's popular. Yeah. And everybody seems to go on about them, but I personally can't get with them. I'm going to say to the audience, uh, could you recommend a song mm -hmm. that's going to, you know, Open the mist is going to part and I'm, I'm going to get them. Okay. I'm going to understand them. So who falls into that category for you? Well, I would think, I was thinking of starting with The Grateful Dead. Okay. Big band, yeah. very important to the counterculture sure. in, in, in America in the yeah. late 60s and stuff like that. Whenever I've heard them, it just sounds like... It's like some horrible blues jam that goes on for about 20 minutes. Yeah. So... I'm not getting that. Yeah, sure. I'd like to get it, so I'd like somebody to say, well, you've got to listen to blah, 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 blah. OK. So I guess what we'll try and do is set that question at the start of the show and then see which song gets recommended by the most people and then have a listen and see whether I ever sent Paul on the road to Damascus at the moment and then think, yeah, yeah. I get the dead. Yeah. So I really, it makes me feel uncomfortable when I just can't get it at all. Yeah. So it's for me, really. It's all about me. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's going to be called the John Cocker Show, right? I, I suppose. Actually, I haven't thought of a proper name. Well, you could call it something That's, else. That could be number six. It's going to have a really snappy name. <laughs> Would you know, yeah. Except I haven't thought of it yet. Yeah, well, do you know, I mean, you've got until January. All right, maybe, okay. maybe someone will kind of suggest yeah. something. Something will come through in Christmas yeah. or something. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Jarvis, thanks so much for coming and having a chat with me. All right. Good to see you. Cheers. <laughs>